What happens when you lose the power to evaluate your own life and get stuck in a mire of uncomfortable questions? That happens to actor Jakob Turner in Norbert Kerstein's novel Der Zweite Jakob, or The Second Jacob. He's an actor about to turn 60. There's supposed to be a biography about him. And for various reasons, he begins to sabotage the biography, to fight against being set in stone through the writing of it. But Jakob comes under growing pressure. The biography, his daughter's probing questions. As the book leaps through time and space, between Tyrol and Texas, Jakob Turner's dark side is revealed, as well as a secret he's been keeping ever since a film shoot on the US-Mexican border. There's a fatal accident, a series of unsolved killings of Mexican women, and a lot of toxic masculinity. Where's the line between fate and culpability? Norbert Kustrein gives the reader many threads to follow, but avoids outright moral judgment. Ich will see for Above all, I want them to be in a grey area within themselves, where they can still narrate themselves back towards the good side. But, at the same time, they're squinting at the other side, and they're aware of a wider and wider abyss. Norbert Kestrein's novel explores that abyss. A confessional story that doesn't provide answers, but keeps challenging the reader with new questions.